say it's gonna rain for a minute. Yeah, hey guys, it's Mackenzie, and you might notice I'm not in my usual recording location. I am in North Carolina on vacation, and you also might notice my hair is a different color. It was originally purple, but I dyed it. That's obviously. And it faded out to this like bluish green because I've been in the water so much. And also, I have not been recording. In this week's video, or this day's video, I also have no idea like what I'm gonna do yet. I am doing a haul, my first ever haul for you guys, and I'm so excited. So let me give you a backstory behind this haul. So I am here with my family in North Carolina, obviously as a family vacation, and the person I hang out with in my family is my cousin. My cousin and I do this thing every year called Cousins Day, where basically we give gifts to each other just because we can. I am doing a Cousins Day haul from this giant big bag. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and let's go get started. <laughs> So the first thing I am holding is this blue case full of these beautiful pink Morphe brushes. We have a total of ten brush. We have a one, two. We have a total of ten beautiful pink Morphe brushes, and this is my first set of Morphe brushes I have ever owned, or Morphe brushes in general. The next thing I got is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original. That's what it looks like. This is what it looks like, and the t applicator. It's just like the one you squeeze, you know, it comes out. I am very excited about this eyeshadow primer because I haven't had an eyeshadow primer in over a year. Moving on, this is my favorite thing I've got this Cousins Day is the Morphe 35OS eyeshadow palette. It's my first ever Morphe palette. Can we honestly just take a minute? So I'm gonna be swatching, we're gonna be swatching this one right here. The pigment is un. Real. If you guys want, honestly, a makeup tutorial on this palette, let me know in the comments below and I will gladly do that. Next one! The next thing we have is the Makeup Revolution London Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Rainbow Highlighter. This is what the packaging looks like. I think the packaging is honestly very, very cute. It's our, it looks like it's been open because I already opened it to play around with it before this video. So, okay, so we're going to swatch it. That's the pigment right there. Guys. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see that from there, but there's the pigment right there. And it's very blendable, it's very creamy. Does my hair look okay? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. <laughs> the next thing we have here are the Tony Moly Purifying and Vitalizing Face Masks, which I could not be more grateful for because I love face masks. And I have never tried the vitalizing one, so I'm kind of curious to see how that works out. Here we have Suicide Squad, if you guys didn't know, that's my favorite movie. I am obsessed with that movie. So we have the Joker right there. We have the Killer Panda, if you guys remember that, in the middle. And then we have the I can't wait to show you my toys quote from that movie. Next, we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara in the full size. I am in love with this mascara. I have one at home currently, but I love this mascara so much. I think I'm almost done, honestly, with the one I have at home. So I cannot wait to use this again. Next thing we have is the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. This product here is used as a setting spray. It can use as a hydration boost or if you just need a random boost in of anywhere this is honestly it for you this smells so good and it's all natural so i am very excited it is also cruelty free so that's also a major plus next thing we have here is some bath and bioworks this is a sparkling limoncello body lotion i really like lotion so can't wait to use this when i get home another thing from bath and bioworks we got is the lavender and spring apricot 24 hour moisture ultra she body cream also from bath and bioworks and guys this smells so sweet and fruity, but not overpowering. It's honestly a very, very summery scent, and I, again, cannot wait to use this when I get home. Last thing I got from Bath & Body Works is the Watermelon Lemonade Fine Fragrance Mist, which is my favorite smell from Bath & Body Works. It smells so fruity. It smells like a watermelon. If you love the smell of watermelon, you will honestly love this, but it smells amazing, and go put some on right now. I honestly love the scent, it's my favorite scent, so I am excited to use this probably all in one month. Next thing I got is this Artiste Brush Dupe. So the bristles together are very firm, it's very thick, and that could probably be used for concealer like right here because, or foundation definitely, because it's not like flowy, it's definitely, if you guys can see that, 
more thick and stern like you can use for, for like a liquid foundation or concealer next thing I got from my cousin was the tea tree healer concealer which hides in heels imperfections I got the shade vanilla which is probably too dark even though this is the latest one because I'm a pale ghost but I also still want to try it as a treatment just to see if it's a hiding and correcting pimples will actually work so if you guys also want a review on that just let me know or a review on any of these products honestly just let me know and I will definitely do that for you guys also one of my favorite things from Cousin Stay is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. She got me this shade 1N1. I renewed, and this is what it looks like, guys. It feels very, very expensive. It the glass is very thick, and this is what it looks like. The applicator, you just pour it out and then you apply it. And I will definitely be using this very often. Finally, the only present I got from my cousin was these open ones, which I'm not going to say the names because she did not want me to. She refused. So that was it for Cousin's Day. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, I just hit my hair when I did that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want more hauls in the future, let me know because I can gladly do that for you guys. Or if you want to make a tutorial with all the stuff I got, please just let me know. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And I will see you later. Bye. Bloopies. Bloopies. Hello. Bro. Hello. 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 Why are you two in here? Why are you not in here? Why are you <laughs> I moved the ladder back. Why are you two not in here? They're I'm not just here for moral support. Floor. I'm making for my stripper movie. I'm moral support. She's been moral support. She's supporting me for, for the job. I can't even elaborate on that. So, okay. G rated. Everything is G rated. If it's a stripper thing, it can't be. It's G stripper in a nun outfit. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Okay. PG. Parental guidance necessary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. This is already been going on for two minutes. You haven't even started the video. Okay, go. Okay. Free samples! <laughs> free samples! Don't show them the free samples. No. You guys are the wackiest people, <laughs> I swear. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging, because you know what, why not? I'm a beauty guru now. Bloopies! Hashtag, I beg for my comments and likes. <laughs> You're not gold! Get out! <laughs> mm, but I ask you. <laughs> Lemoncello!